Good well, students, so welcome to biology class, and we have question 44. Genes that remain linked are those that dash A, close to each other on the chromosome, B, on the same locals on the chromosome, C, on the homologous chromosome, then D, which are the pair. The answer here is uh, genes that are close to each other. Now, this is the simple explanation. The last uh, question, we talked about the crossing. That's the crossing over of genes. That is the crossing over of, um, of the homologous chromosomes. Okay? Now, we are talking about the linkage of genes. Now, let's look at the chromosome. You know that the chromosome, the genes are always located on the chromosome as usual. The genes are always located on the chromosome. I told you that the centromere is what separates the chromatid. So, this is the chromatid. We have two chromatids. This is the chromatid. Now, genes are located on the chromosome. Let's identify each of the genes with letters, okay? So let's have, for example, we have A, we have the B, we have the C, we have the D, we have the E. Between this chromosome and this chromosome, the linkage is, is, is the chance of linkage is very low. However, between this chromosome and this chromosome, the chance of the linkage is what is, what is very high because the chromosome Sorry, the genes are located on the same chromosome and are close to each other. Now let's go to the next question. A plant that has 14 chromosomes prior to mitosis. What is the a plant cell now? What is the number of chromosomes in the daughter cells? So let's an analyze what we mean by mitosis. Don't forget that in your biology, mitosis is simply defined as the type of cell division in which the parent gives rise to offspring that has the same number of chromosomes as the parent. That is, we have if the parent is N, okay, and N, don't forget is 23 number of chromosomes, is going to give rise to two daughter cells that have the same number of chromosomes as the parent. So, you give rise to N, that is, the first daughter cell is going to be 23, while the second daughter cell is going, also going to be N, that is 20, 23. Now, what they are telling us here is that prior to cell division, the chromosome, the parent cell must undergo mitosis 14. So let's assume that our N here is 14. So we're going to give rise to two daughter cells, don't forget that, in which are going to have 14 and 14. So when you add this together, you have 28 number of chromosomes as the daughter cells. So the answer is going to be 20, 28. So let's go on. Let's move to question 40, 46. Now, the chemical bond that holds the base of strands of DNA, base of strands of DNA together is dash A, oxygen bond, B, hydrogen bond, C, electrovalent bond, and D, covalent bond. The answer is hydrogen bond. Let me explain a little. Now, don't forget that. What makes up your, the strands of your DNA? We have two strands of DNA linked together. Okay, what makes up the strands of DNA? The unit is called the nucleotide. We have the DNA, the DNA unit. It's called to the nucleo, the nucleotide. That means we need to know that the nucleotide here, this is, let's say this is a strand of the DNA that ought to be linked with another strand of the DNA. So each of the segments here is going to have what is called the nucleo nucleotide. So let me draw a nucleotide here and you see how a nucleotide is going to link with another nucleotide through that bond that is called the hydrogen hydrogen bond. So each nucleotide consists of four, sorry, three segments. The first one is the phosphate, the second one is the pentose sugar, and the third one is the third one is the nitrogenous base. So let's Summarize a little here. This is the pentose sugar, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, and carbon five. That is, the sugar is a five carbon sugar. Now, it's going to be attached to a phosphate group, and the phosphate is inorganic phosphate, don't forget that. Now, we're going to have a nitrogenous base. This is the base, an example of the nitrogenous base. Okay, uh, we know we have different types of nitrogenous basis. But now, because we're going to focus on the question and manage our time, we'll discuss that later in subsequent years. So, now, this is a, an example of a nucleotide in a segment of the DNA. So, we link this 
particular nucleotide together with another nucleotide in another strand. This is a strand of DNA, as I've said. This is another strand of DNA, as you say. So what we just do here is that we draw another five here. We draw the phosphate here, and we have the linkage. We have the nitrogenous base here. So the bond that exists here between this and this is called the hydrogen bond. It's called the hydrogen bond. How does the covalent bond apply to this part, uh, to this diagram I've drawn? The covalent bond is not the answer because we're talking about between strands. But however, where does covalent bond uh, um, come in? The bond that that brings the phosphate, the sugar, and the base together, all together here, is called the covalent bond. While the bond that links a nucleotide to another nucleotide in the strands of DNA is called the hydrogen bond. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next class.